What's going on? Your boy is back at it again. Trams on deck. Today, we have another review. Today, we have bourbon. Today, we have a horse soldier bourbon review. Yes, sir. Now, this right here is, is uh, cash or, or barrel proof strength. So this one's bottled at 56%. And this actual one right here is the very first time with, with this product. I was, this is actually a blind buy. And what I mean by blind buy is that I've not personally had it before, nor I've had, had anyone tell me about it. Um, it was just the type of thing. I was in the store one day and uh, was looking for a new bourbon. I wanted to try something new. And uh, so I kind of just went for it. I like barrel strength. And, uh, and I actually learned, learned a quick and neat fact about this particular bourbon. Uh, this horse soldier is actually by uh, former American soldiers. Um, after 9-11, there were a response team of the Green Berets who were mounted on horseback. And uh, they uh, obviously was in the war in Afghanistan. Um, they also have a monument uh, at uh, Ground Zero. And they have a statue there uh, commemorating their bravery uh, in the war in Afghanistan. And this actual right here, front part is kind of a mold part where you see this, like, like a little shield right here, is actually recovered from the World Trade Center. 9/11, uh, and it was molded onto here, so it has some uh, uh, actual Ground Zero wreckage right here, uh, hands hand done and uh, molded right to the front of the bottle. So uh, big ups to them. So it's actually made by soldiers, and this the name is uh, actually from the statue that they have. So that's a good neat fact. And so you know, it's actually uh, one of their uh, facilities are is in Ohio, whereas I'm actually originally from Ohio. I'm from Cleveland to be exact. So. Um, so that's a good thing to know about this particular bottle. So anyway, I just, it was a blind buy. Um, I just wanted to give it a shot. So now I'm here doing a review of this. And uh, so, you know, this particular bottle right here cost me $80. So it's not cheap for a bourbon, especially an unknown bourbon. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, this bourbon's cost more than $80, but most of them, you know, if you get it at a retail or MSRP original price, at from a, uh, you know, one of the bigger chains you normally you can, most bourbons you know bar and large you can get for less than eighty dollars so this one is exactly eighty dollars so uh you know that's just to put that out there and i got this at, um at uh on uh, installation so it wasn't like an um independent retailer installation being a military installation so anyway horse soldier eighty dollars uh this is actual uh, uh barrel strength and uh uncut so we're gonna give it a shot. Um, so I just bought this bottle last week, so I haven't had, I did very little uh, experience with it. I'm gonna jump right into this review and give you my honest opinion. We're gonna start on the nose. <sighs> Smells like alcohol a little bit. And I'll be honest with you all, I get a little bit of oak on this, but I'm getting a very, very pungent smell. Well, it's somewhat pungent smell of paint. Yeah, like when you when you come into a room and you and you smell dry paint. Let's suppose you paint it in your room and you go leave for covers. You come back, how you get the that um, even if the windows open, you get and it blows the wind in. How you get a faint smell of some dry paint? I kid you not. That's what I'm tasting. I, I smell oak and dry paint. Real talk, that, that's what I smell right now. Oak and paint, that, that's what I'm picking up. I'm not picking up any spice, any berries, any sweetness. I'm getting paint. I mean, I, I've never had anything that smelled like dry paint. <laughs> but this is just, had, to, to me, it smells like dry paint and oak. It's different. Let's just say, I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's different. That paint is kind of, you know, the very uh, odd smell. When I dig my nose a little bit more, pick up a, you know, you get some alcohol fumes on it as well. I mean, it is a barrel strength, so that's, you know, it's not a surprise or a shock to get that. <sighs> yeah, I'm tired of smelling paint. All right, on the, on the palate now.
Oh, it's the first sip. I'm gonna take another one. I have to coast my palate. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna soak in and take one more sip and give you my opinion. pick up oak I'm picking up a grassy aftertaste it tastes like some grass like some like a small like some wheat grass or some fresh cut grass that's that smells what I taste a little bit on the on the finish this, this is a bit of curveball for me it smells like paint and tastes like grass well not specific well I, let me rephrase that it tastes like oak, but with this hint of grass, I should say that. Like a real organic, earthy grass aftertaste to it. Grass is not the only prevalent uh, note, but I'm also picking up oak. Some odd spice. I can't pinpoint the spice, but it could be that grass that I'm tasting. Um, but this is a very uh, peculiar uh, experience I'm having with this bottle right here. Um... I, I, you know, it's it's barrel strength, so you definitely um, uh, pick up the heat on this. But it's not very viscous, like some of my uh, other whiskeys. Some of them it coats the palate very well. I don't know if you can see the color on it. It has a very nice dark amber color. Uh, this is an embroidered glass, so you may not be able to pick up the color as well. The light, sorry for that, but um, so it has a dark amber color. But uh, but yeah, it's, it has some different nuances going on on the nose on the palate. That's that's uh, very very different and unique uh, for me. I'm gonna hop in on another sip and then I'm gonna give you my score. Honestly, y'all, I'm not feeling this. I'm picking up oak, a little bit of that dry paint. I'm tasting it, and it's, it has a hint of an organic, like an earthy taste, like a wheat grass, fresh cut grass. But all in all, I'm not feeling it. To me, this was a miss. I appreciate the fact that uh, it's made by soldiers, and uh, you know, it has got the. Uh, that ties into the the 911 and the war in Afghanistan the whole time. You know, I, I, I support that, uh, but you know, taste is king to me. And for me, this is a no go. This is this is it, it has like a very off off print. I guess don't. And I hate to say it, but the only good thing about it I'm really picking up is that the the, the finish is not super long. Even though it's barrel strength, a lot of times higher proof things tend to uh, linger a little bit more. But this has some of a dry, short finish. And because I don't care for the taste, that's a good thing. Because if you don't care for something, you don't want to linger in your mouth. I hate to say this, but I, this is a miss for me. This is a no-go. This is, uh, of all my reviews that I've done, um, as far as bourbons-wise, or I should say whiskey in general, um, this is probably among my least favorite that I've ever reviewed. And I, and I can say, you know, I have to be real with you guys. I mean, if, I, if you're going to sit here and listen to me talk, I got to keep it 1,000 with you. So I'm going to keep it a buck. And I'm going to tell you that I, this is a no-go for me. Um, you, you hear me talk about, like, I don't like to mix my whiskeys. But something like this, I would have no problem mixing uh, because I just don't care for the taste. I, I would I would easily ice this up and, 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 and put some juice in there and kind of change the flavor up on it a little bit. I think if this was a mixing wise, I think it would go better mixing. But sipping meat is a no-go for me. I mean, I'm not, it's, it's, I mean, it tastes like pursuit out to me, like, you know, trash almost. I, and I hate to say this, but it's just, it's a miss for me. I don't, I'm not feeling this at all. I'm gonna I'm a try to salvage this as much as possible. I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of war just, just to see if I can save this in any way, shape or form. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Because right now, when you smell it, I already said what the smell is, but when you taste it, the mid palate, 
you, I pick up that that like that grassy aftertaste, like a very uh, like a stringent, like uh, grassy organic earthly taste that I just don't uh, this doesn't taste. I, I'm not happy with the taste with that path, that that little stringent grassy taste. I don't like it. You do taste oak, some other spice, but the finish is kind of short. But like I said, because I don't care for it, I think that's a good thing. And I would, if this was twenty dollars a bottle. Or $25 or something like that. If this is one of the bourbons I can get for $30 or less, then I think I'd probably be, you know, the taste would still be the same. I still wouldn't care for it. But I think it would be uh, um, not as bad because, you know, you didn't invest as much in it. But when, you know, something costs $80, I mean, and it's a bourbon, not, mind you, um, I have a little bit of expectations. So this right here was, is a total miss for me. Um, it's just, it's, it's not complex, it's not long, and the flavor profile does not fit my palate. Now, you may like earthy, grassy stuff. I don't know. You may like the smell of fresh paint. And that's what I pick up. Your nose may tell you something different. But the taste is it's kind of, it's like an astringent kind of off-putting taste. I just, I don't care for it. Uh, I gave it a shot. It was blind by. 80 bucks. Um, you know, if I have um, some people who, who you know, like, like, you know, if I got some friends that just, I ain't going to say friends, associates that would like to try something, I would probably give them this because I was like, you know, I'm not going to give them top shot. I'm like, here, why don't you try this? Put a little ice or put some coke in it and tell me what you think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I may know that. But for me, uh, I wouldn't, I'm definitely not going to buy this again. Um, you know, um, it's just, it doesn't fit my flavor profile. To me, it is by far the worst bourbon that I've had reviewed. By far, um, if I put this versus any other bourbon that you see on my channel, I I, I would disagree. There's other there's, now. I'm gonna be fair. There's been other bourbons who I told you I didn't care for as well. I, I for example the uh, the rare breed wild turkey. I didn't really care for that too much. I mean it was okay. I didn't really care for it. The wild turkey was better than this, and I didn't even care for the wild turkey rare breed. I had the larceny. Believe it or not, I like weed of bourbon. Larceny is a weed of bourbon, but I didn't care for the larceny 92 proof. It was okay, but the good thing about Larceny is that it was only $25. So, you know, even though it was okay, but it was $25, so it's not, a, you know, $25 versus $80. And, and the Larceny, in my opinion, bourbon was better than this. So that's why I'm like, eh, like you know, for 80 bucks, I, I definitely wouldn't do it. So if, you, if you're if you uh, in a store, you're looking to try a new whiskey or a new bourbon, and you see this type of thing, that's just my personal opinion. Now, if you like uh, organic, astringent, uh, grassy type tasting oaky things. Uh, I like oak too, but this just the mix of it. You know, the first mint when you first put it in your tongue, I don't. It's just more of an alcohol taste, mid palate. You get organic, astringent, uh, grassy taste, and then it, it jumps right into a short, dry finish. Like I said, and the finish normally is if it has a short, dry finish, I don't like it. But because I said because this is not my flavor profile clearly. I'm cool with a short finish because I don't want to linger in my, my I don't want the lingering grassy taste on my tongue anyway. I just, but to me this this is a no go. This is this is borderline trash to me. I mean, as far as far as neat goes, I would mix this. This this is this is the type of thing I would mix. You know what I'm saying? This is better for mixing as opposed to drinking meat. In my in my personal opinion, because I've had far better supreme, smoothly more complex bourbons than this, and it's just, and like I said, it's it's a no go. I pour water in this. Let's see if it if it can if it can salvage this in any way, shape, or form. No, it's about the same. It's a miss for me. I've had to rate this one out of ten, ten being the best. This is getting a five out of ten to me. A five. I'm sorry. And then if I factor in the price, it's getting a four. Taste alone five, which is you know you know not it's av less less than average to me. But when you t when you factor in the price is less than, it's even worse than that. So, like I said. You know, I'm not saying it's the most disgusting, vile, sick uh, drama I've ever had, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. But I just don't care for this. I like the fact that, hey, if anything, I'm glad I've supported some soldiers, and um, it was, you know, it's a good, uh, uh, the founders of it is good, you know, but um, 
Taste wise, I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. It's a no go. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, only thing I would recommend is you form your own opinion. Always, no, no, no matter how bad I think or good, or good or bad, I think something is. I always want you to form your own opinion. You give your own perspective because that's just my personal opinion. Your your taste buds may tell you something totally different. So independent of what I tell you, you can also also form your opinion. But to me, I'm gonna give you. The, I'm just give you what I taste, and what I taste is not to my liking. That's fine. It may be to yours. So if you like that astringent, grassy taste, then this is for you. You know what I'm saying? You've met you've met the bourbon that you're looking for, and that's what you like. But be it as it may, um, if you see it at a at a restaurant, I would I would probably say the safest best to go that route. Or if you're in the San Diego area, hit me in my comments. You can have this whole bottle if you like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm gonna be honest. Well, I'm I'm serious. I'm being so honest. I just don't care for this. But because I got it, and I don't have to be most people who I know they don't really, they're not into uh, spirits like this. So I'm not going to waste it. I'm still going to drink this, but I'm going to do the cardinal sin, which I hardly ever do, is mix it. But for this, it needs to be mixed. So I'll put this on the rocks and mix it with some juice and make it, you know, make it uh, more, a lot, a lot more palatable. But sipping this neat, this is, this will be the last time I ever sip this neat. I can assure you that. Um, it's going to be mixed like a hell. It's, I'm going I'm to I'm goddamn mix the shit out of this thing, okay? But for me, no go. Five out of ten. Um, poor soldier. Uh, barrel proof, uh, barrel strength is what they call it, whiskey, 56.1, and so it's a complete mess for me. So I got to keep it real, no go, try it yourself, form your own opinion. Um, you know, uh, I'm sorry, but it just, it, just, it just didn't work for me. But I got to keep it real, I'm going to tell you the truth, I got more hot reviews coming your way. Sign off, Dram's on deck, yes sir.